Hey there Spartans, welcome back to Halo Cannon, and uh, we're here with another trailer breakdown. Obviously we're doing the anniversary trailer, you already know what it's about, so let's just get right in and uh, see, what we can, uh, see what we can extrapolate. So right away you can see Spartan 117, so obviously this is John accessing this information, whatever, how he got it is unknown, maybe whoever compiled it sent it to him, maybe he's accessing it legally, um, with Oni's permission. Um, by the way, it's Oni, so if we skip forward a bit there. Yeah, there you go. You can see now it's uh, Oni's. This is uh, an Oni file, so, you know, maybe he's accessing it legally. Um, so, you know, you know, who knows for now. Um, but let's keep moving. So there we go. We can see what this whole file is about. Um, this is Oni's file on Thel Vodami. Now, it is kind of weird that he's called Vodami since after Halo, th at the end of Halo 2, um, leading into Halo 3, all, him and anyone who followed him, you know, all the Separatists, basically, they dropped the two E's from the end of, ends of their name to signify them leaving the Covenant. However, give, this file is supposedly supposed to take, this is supposed to take place, or, um, you know, the terminals, which are the visualization of this file already has on Thel, are supposed to cover um, like e everything from, you know, his, at least from what I understand, it's supposed to be like his entire life, um, or at least, you know, some of those early years, pro maybe uh, since the beginning of the Human Covenant War, and, you know, gl up to the Glass of Reach, beyond that, um, I've heard some rumors that it's going to be, that it's supposed to go all the way up into, um, like, the modern co the modern Halo era, 2558, or more or less. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that at, at this point, but I, the, if they don't do that... I don't think the terminals will be very worthwhile, but that's just me. Anyway, you can see Supreme Command, uh, Supreme Commander, Covenant Fleet. He's a high priority target, and here's probably the real interesting thing, at least um, in, in this right here. The report has been compiled by Lieutenant Commander Jameson Locke. So we now know the you know Agent Locke's full name. He is indeed a Noni agent. It's kind of weird for you know he's a Spartan Four. At least that's that's most likely what he is. It would be um, it's possible he's not he's a an earlier generation of Spartan or some secret Oni Spartan, but you know Spartans usually don't have ranks. So, but you know, again, he's since he's working directly for Oni, most Spartans work under under the Spartan branch or with um, various divisions of the Navy, such as the Spartan Twos worked with uh, Naval Special Warfare uh, Command. So. Um, so yeah, it's, it's interesting to see, and of course we can finally get his first name, so that's always good. Uh, moving on. And here we go, the Arbiter. I have had many names in this long... Many names, eh? Oh, that roar, right? So we start out, uh, we start out with, uh, just seeing Thal, you know, just kill the humans, got his energy sword, probably just conquered a planet or something. And right away, the first thing that really takes, or that really, I really take note of is that 343 has gone back to the classical, or the classic uh, armor design. So, you know, it's the same armor design, just different colors. Um, it's very much in line with what we see in Halo 1 and Halo 2, the original Halo 1, not Anniversary. Now, personally, I, w I was kind of hoping that they would follow suit with what Anniversary started, where... They kind of retconned the look with uh, what Reach had started because I honestly like the the different Reach armors. I like the way I like that the you know rank was distinguished not just by color but by different armors. But yeah, and I mean since Reach started, like if C if CEA had decided to scrap that idea and just like you know do what Halo Two Anniversary is apparently doing now, I think I this. This decision, as we're seeing with Halo 2 Anniversary, would sit better with me, but personally, I am not a fan of it, just because, as a canon nut, I like consistency. So now we have this really weird transition between all these different armors, and no explanation why. Anyway. The humans knew me as Destroyer. And there we go. Got Thel glassing, or at least his fleet glassing some city. Could be, uh, could be the glassing of New Mombasa, uh, um, or slash void to t 
take out the Flood. Could just be a random human city, but who knows. The Covenant. I was Supreme Commander. Nice interesting scene with, uh, Pel with a, uh, sorry, a phantom taking down, taking down a long sword. Now looking at this initially, this scene looks to be Reach. I wouldn't be surprised if it, if it, if it is Reach, but, and that, that's definitely my first guess. I got a nice, um, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's an, uh, that is a, uh, Halcyon class cruiser. It could be a marathon, but I'm pretty sure it's a Halcyon. We'll see. Or not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that was definitely a Halcyon class cruiser, so. Looks like we're kind of, or could have, this could also be the, the, uh, the Battle of Sigma Octanus IV. I mean, we don't know that Thel was there, but, um, just looking at the number of human ships and the number of, uh, Covenant ships in this particular simulation here, uh, I would guess that this might be the Battle of Sigma Octanus IV, or it could be a new battle altogether, but, yeah, just guessing at this point. The Prophets named me... Arbiter. Ah, and here we go into the uh, Halo Two, Halo Two, and Halo Three era stuff. Now, here's a really interesting scene, and you can see there's this clearly forerunner, this forerunner platform of some kind, and you can see the the forerunner dreadnought or the key, well, it's a key ship which was called the dreadnought, um, in the background, and you can see what look like if, if you really zoom in here, it looks like. You have some Sangheili bowing to uh, the Sanshayu. So my first guess would be that this is either uh, that this might be you know um, this might be the founding of the Covenant. So it, it's hard to say if the, if it is the founding of the Covenant, this would probably be Sanghelios, which we know was co was covered and riddled with uh, Forerunner artifacts. So. I wouldn't be surprised if that's that's the case, but it also kind of looks. I don't know. This doesn't feel like the Sanghelios we've grown familiar with, especially when you see Sanghelios from the sky. It's very red. Doesn't look very green. Um, but who knows? You know, three four three can take some artistic liberties here and there with uh, various designs of stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, that'd be cool if we actually got some insight into the founding of the Covenant through these terminals. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing that, I mean, at least my first instinct would be regret, but, um, you know, the, the headdress is very different, the, the, the thing on the back or his hunch or whatever is very, very different from, uh, regrets, so it could also be a different San Shayum from a different era, who knows. And your master chief calls me Fred. Oh, you know what, that was, I'm sorry, that, that, I think that, I'm pre I think that was... I think that were, I think that was regret. Huh. It's weird if he'd be. I mean, because at least my first instinct was that this is Thel receiving his Arbiter armor. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm guessing this is probably Ripamorami. Because, you know, obviously regret was not there when Thel got his armor, and I, I am a, I'm I'm gonna assume that this is regret the San Shyam on the right we're seeing. I mean, he's got the pierced ears. He's um, he looks a lot like Regret to me, based on the 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 upgraded screenshot. You know, the up the uh, the high res model that we've seen of Regret. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm get it looks so we might get some insight into the history of the Arbiter rank. So this might actually be Ripa Morami receiving his armor, but it could still be Thel, um, and that might just or it, it could be a, a completely different Arbiter, um, like some really ancient Arbiter receiving the Arbiter armor. For stuff. Anyway, um, we'll see. <laughs> uh, moving on. And your master chief calls me friend. Now this is this is a line that's really gotten a lot of people riled up in one way or another. Is this idea that the master chief calls Thel friend? Now, one suggestion I've seen put forth, and if this was your idea, because I read it on my YouTube comments, I don't remember whose name. Or who put it down? So please take credit for it if you yeah, when you see this. Um, said that you know friend might mean different things, um, or might be might have multiple translations or multiple meanings in Sangheili. Um, so you know is really you know I would say, a lot of fans would definitely agree that Thel and the Chief would consider each other comrades. Um, you know maybe even brothers in arms. 
uh, through their trials and tribulations, both on Earth and on the Greater Ark. Uh, but Friend might be, you know, might might be pushing it, but uh, it could just be, for, you know, it could also be just for the fan, the the larger fan base, you know, trailer lines as they call them. This is another interesting one. Looks like a, I mean. It looks really familiar, the armor, but I can't quite place it at the moment. So if you guys recognize it, it you know, be sure to say so. But, you know, it, it looks a lot like some sort of ranger armor. It's definitely something with, you know, with some anti-grav stuff going on in the back there. You know, another thing is, like, is this, is this Thel? Is this something else? Who knows? We'll see in time. Yeah, and there we go, the uh, destruction of Alpha Halo. So we're obviously going to cover that. And what's interesting to note is that while the ring definitely has a design based on the upgrade we saw in Halo Combat Evolved, it seems to be missing the uh, the fins that were seen. Uh, you know, you see it in the menu, you see it in all the imagery for or the the images for um, Combat Evolved Anniversary. So kind of weird. Maybe three four three is going with a more classic design. Which again would kind of irritate me because you know don't don't change things if you're just gonna fall back on it. Just, I I want consistency, guys. I just I really really want consistency. That's all I want. Uh, here's definitely. I think this has probably been the highlight of this trailer. So we're on high charity. We know it's high charity. Um, you'll see in a later scene when I when we get to it. But this covenant vehicle of some sort. You know, it, it it looks like it, it's not a vehicle we've seen before, so it's probably not a fighter. It could be a fighter, but I don't think so because it's flying through the city of High Charity. Um, my guess would be it's some sort of civilian vehicle, you know, just like a personal flyer, or maybe it's an airship, you know, for pa you know for multiple passengers. We'll see, but definitely interesting. It's not, I, I like that this idea that we might get, um, for lack of a better for lack of a better phrase, you know, like uh, civilian uh, vehicles showing up again, because you know we had the hog for humans in Halo, 2, as seen in Halo Two. Well, it's kind of teasing Halo Two. You don't actually see it in the campaign. It's a billboard on headlong, but um, you know the more like non-military stuff is really kind of interesting because that gets you deeper into the lore, gets you more invested in the characters or. Um, more invested in that universe, sorry. Anyway. And I hadn't noticed this before, but I believe that looks like a green phantom. Which would be very interesting. So this could be during you know some of those early stages of uh, the Great Schism. But which would mean that this, you know, this uh, this Covenant X Wing or of sorts, it might actually be a new military vehicle that we haven't seen before. It's entirely possible, you know. Um, Covenant's vast, got a lot of technology, so. Um, but yeah. Oh. Definitely some infighting going on. Can't quite tell what's in the background there. Looks like other Covenant forces, so this might be. This is probably part of the Great Schism, you know, because we never got to see, you know. Yeah, there are tons and tons of various Sanghili, uh, Gerald Hanai, Ungoy, uh, Yan Mei, and, uh, and, um, God, what's the last one? Kigyar, that, li that live in high charity constantly. So, there would have been fighting in the streets as the elites were, you know, kind of ousted from, from their previous ranks. So, this might be during the seeing what was happening to some of the other elites during that great during the Great Schism, especially on High Charity. Which makes me think, just kind of a side note here, it would be really cool, since they're going to be covering some of the other... It looks like they might be covering other aspects of, um, of the Great Schism. There was a side story, or there was a... Um, in Ghost of Onyx, we kind of got to see another faction of uh, the early... Uh, Sanghili resistance before the Sep you know the Arbiter took over and basically became the face of the Sanghili Separatists. So it'd be cool if we got to see some of those other factions that might have formed before the proper um, fleet of retribution, as seen in Halo Three, formed. 
And this is probably, this is a really, really, really interesting one. This could be a lot of things, but it very much looks like you know, one one idea is that it's that it's truth, mercy, and regret uh, before they became prophets. But um, they all look way too young. We, uh, I mean, regret was young. Truth was kind of was kind of was kind of young. But regret, or, or sorry, mercy was already ancient by the time. Like he he was an old he was an old guy way before even becoming a becoming a uh, a hierarch. So my first guess and this has been the guess of a few people but you know it, it's still up in the air is that these are ancient sanshayum now we talked about earlier there was that scene that looked like it might have been um you know like the the forming of the covenant the 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 writ of union with those what looked like sanghili bowing to ancient sanshayum so this could be at least my first guess or my first thought is uh, maybe this are these are the sanshayum um reformists the ones that actually okay quick uh, quick history lesson for those who don't know on the in you know way back when when the sunshine were still on their home planet there there was the forerunner dreadnought and most you know so for you know their the societal rules were don't touch the for the the forerunner technology don't mess with it don't do anything with it but then the reformists came along and uh you know there was a bit of a there was a bit of a debate and the reformists went to and then the reformists went inside the dreadnought and basically, you know, left the planet, tearing it asunder. So I'm wondering, at least I, or I, I'm thinking, I mean, you can kind of see what looks like the, what could be the tail fin of the dreadnought in the background there between the two, between the heads of the two Sanshayum on the right, or the, the left, in, sorry, the left in the middle. Um, you, know, you know, there's obviously, a, I'm doing a lot of speculation here, but. You know, that's that'd be my first thought is maybe that's what's go. You know, these are some of those early Sanshayum reformists that wanted to go inside this the uh, the dreadnought, or it could also be that these are that these are the Sanshayum, um, you know, during or after that the war with the Sanghili. Who knows? They're definitely ancient. They're definitely ancient. You can see their robes are very different in design than what we see later. Um, they're standing up, which is very, un, which isn't as common in the modern or the later uh, San, San Shai, San societies. And you have this one that's kind of holding the staff, which and you know looks like it could be a, at least in design a precursor to those those back ornamental things that the the San Shayum wear the, or that the high prophets wear. Anyway. And what will you call me when you learn the truth of what I have done? So this has also been quite a um, a line that's kind of set people around. You know, the truth the the truth is that the chief doesn't really know much about the arbiter. He knows that he's the arbiter. That you know, they he helped him, and that, and that the arbiter helped the chief. You know, stop the firing of the halo rings and stop the the grave mind. What he doesn't know is that. You know, the Arbiter is the one who, or he led the uh, the fleet of particular justice, which was the last fleet over like seven, I think they said like somewhere like 300 ships for that particular fleet uh, or up to 750 or so, you know, somewhere in that range. Shit ton of ships that showed up in reach and ultimately glassed the planet. That was the final, they were the ones there for the final bombardment. And he was the supreme commander of that fleet. And he's been a supreme com he's been a commander of uh, he's been a shipmaster for uh, almost since the beginning of the human covenant war, you know, close to that. So he's glassed a lot of planets. He's killed a lot of humans. He was also at Alpha Halo. Um, so, you know, and Chief doesn't really know that. He could guess that you know, this is this was a powerful Sangheili uh, or this was a powerful elite. He probably did a lot of bad shit. But he doesn't know, you know, how personally Thel's decisions have affected him. So it can be interesting to see if this will change the dynamic between the Chief and Thel if they ever meet up again, which a lot of us are hoping will happen in Halo 5. Okay, well, that's it for this trailer breakdown. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, naturally, be sure to let me know if you actually enjoyed these or not. Uh, the last few went good, so I hope this one does good, too. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, guys, thanks for watching my video. 
It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.